Hello, good afternoon. My name is Kemin Lin. Uh, today I would like to share with you some of my thoughts about my own identity. I'm a retired psychiatrist, but at the age of 72, I still don't quite know who I am or what life is uh, all about. For sure, these questions uh, went back as far as I can remember, but they took a whole different uh, meaning in the year 1974, when I was 28. That year, I moved from Taiwan to Seattle. Why Seattle? Well, my wife and I look at the map, and there was this city that's surrounded uh, by all these uh, uh, snow-capped mountains, uh, pristine lakes, and uh, the ocean. So I asked myself, what could go wrong with such a place? <laughs> Little did I know what I was getting into. We arrived in late June, and the city was indeed even more amazing than we uh, uh, imagined. But in three days, the city disappeared on me. As I started working in a locked psychiatric unit, surrounded by confused and confusing patients who were distraught, downtrodden, angry, and sometimes even violent. That was when I realized too late that I didn't really know English. Uh, often, I was not quite sure what people were talking about, and I had this uh, sinking feeling that they did not know what I was saying either. It was a miracle. I didn't manage to cure any of my patients, as far as I know. <laughs> well, there are many other challenges, but uh, here I just uh, use uh, driving as another example. While in Taiwan, I didn't know how to drive. I didn't uh, own a car. I didn't know what freeway is, which didn't exist at the time there. Two weeks after arriving in Seattle, I became a proud owner of a tiny car called Gremlin. That's uh, <laughs> it's true. Bravely, Gremlin took me to the streets. Then we got more daring and uh, started taking on the freeways. We were doing great, except when we made wrong turns, which was all the time. <laughs> then we would end up in all sorts of uh, new neighborhoods, sometimes interesting, sometimes scary. Forty years, uh, forty some years down onward, there are still surprises, and we are still adjusting. But I finally came to the conclusion that no matter how hard you try, once you cross oceans and continents, you'll never be truly at home again, and in some ways, you'll always remain an outsider. But if the saying that that which uh, doesn't kill you makes you strong has some truth to it, then as long as I'm still alive, I must be all right, and I must also be moving ever closer to knowing who I am and uh, what life really is all about, right? Thank you for listening.